Hello friends, I am here to discuss about a beautiful nature. Today I am going to impart some valuable information which will help enhance every child's knowledge. So let's start with the sky. Uh, have you wondered when you go out of your house and wait for a bus and you look up what you can see? Yes, you are right. It's a sky. Generally, the color of the sky is blue. Sometimes it's white in color because that day the sun is shining bright. At night, the color of sky turns into dark. We can see a dark black sky. Have you noticed the milky white cotton balls in the sky? What are they? They are clouds. Generally, they are white in color and they keep on moving from one place to another place. Okay, now tell me when you travel in a flight, what is position of the clouds? Are they above the flight or below the flight? Yes, they are below the flight. They are floating in the sky. The clouds float in the sky and they keep on moving from one place to another. Have you heard about the word turbulence? Have you heard the pilot saying please pass on your seat belt? Why does he say so? Because he wants us to be safe from the turbulence caused by the air. Now what is turbulence? Have you wondered? Have you thought? Yes. Turbulence means the air heavy air flowing in between the clouds so it creates a turbulence when heavy air flows between the clouds we experience a turbulence and because of this the aircraft shakes when it passes through the clouds you can see white clouds on a sunny day and uh, gray clouds on a rainy day when two or more clouds come together they rub against each other and they create a spark we can see a light it is called lightning and you can hear a loud sound that sound is called thundering have you noticed have you experienced that when the rain slows down and the sun shines bright we can see a rainbow in the sky why is it so beautiful because it has seven bright colors it consists of all the seven with pure colors have you ever wondered where does the rain come from is your answer sky no you're wrong we get rain from the clouds clouds st clouds are made up of tiny water droplets they send showers of water to the earth in form of rain rain fill all the rivers and lakes and ponds oceans and seas rain water is very important for us So today we discussed about the sky, the clouds, the rain and the rainbow. I hope surely you got some valuable information from this video. Next time I will be back with some more interesting information and subscribe to our channel.